episode of Max Big Bus. Uh, you might be wondering where my my webcam is uh, I'm but um, I uh, I'm trying out a different program and see the quality of equipment and while the quality should be better, I'm fortunate can't use um save cam for it, so We'll see how this episode turns out, and if I'll continue it this way or not, but... And I, I, I also apologize for this, uh, being a few days uh, uploading this, it, but... It's been busy. That's life. But anyway, let's carry on. I'd like to take the skirt off that wrestling match sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. There's no way I'm missing that. Sorry guys, I literally just woke up a little while ago. I'm still out of it. Hey, got a friend level. Look at that is. Hey, there's nothing stopping you from taking your skirt off of my place. I don't mind. I'm gonna track a little bit. Whoa, dude! Whoa! Slow down! Yeah, yeah, I feel you, Max. It was a joke. Sorry. I've been I've been to Brad's place pretty often. It's worth going just to watch stuff on on the TV. I don't know how to how he managed to afford something like that on our wage. That was incredible, incredibly jealous. This wrestling match was gonna be awesome. I don't mind wrestling sometimes. Wow, the ring actually is on fire. I thought it'd be CGI or something. I told you this would be awesome. Pass the chips. Got chips. No, get your own chips. Nom nom nom. I knew I should have thought of something bad. Ah, that dude just caught on fire. How the hell is that this legal? It's not safe at all. You can watch something else if it's distressing you. Do not touch that remote. I must watch this in all its entirety. This is the greatest thing I've seen in my life. Wow. Quick, throw on the sofa. The chair isn't gonna last much longer. Hey, you look damn cute when you're working up like this. Dude, stop hitting on your freaking partner. It's a guy, you know. I, I'm not cute. You kinda are. Dude, fuck off, seriously. Shut up and go find some more chips. Yeah, that's right. Be the chip bitch. I'll go check my cupboards. Yeah, that's right. Get lost, Brad. Still can't believe the style of wrestling. So damn violent. Sorry, babe, we're all out of chips. Found some pencils. Press them both. Is that right? Dude, now you're calling us babe. Oh, I love pressers. Bring them over. But don't call me babe again. Don't do too much, bro. I'm fat. You're like half your normal size now. You won't get away with eating as much as you used to. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Super itchy all of a sudden. Not What the hell? Your hair just grew back. Ah! I was expecting this, but I didn't think it would happen when I was awake. I thought it was an overnight thing. Wow. I thought you were making up that whole thing about your hair magically going back overnight. Do you believe me now? Yeah. That still doesn't explain how the hell something like that just happened. It makes no sense. We live in a world where you can buy gender swap serums on the street. Got any scissors? Why are you bothering to cut it off? It'll, it'll all just grow back again. Because it's 
too long and you keep getting in the way. It's driving me insane. It's like that that uh, anime where he cuts people's hair with scissors and kills people or something. I can't remember what that anime is called. I can't get this one strand from brushing my face. It's really annoying. Blowing it off doesn't really help. For the record, you look cute with long hair. It suits you. Fuck off, Brad. Seriously. Well, it suits the female version. I'm not sure your male sub looks so great with hair that big. Ugh. Just cut this tomorrow morning. My hair is growing, going to grow back overnight anyway. There's only one place you have an hour to do it twice. Try not to worry about it too much. I'm sure we'll figure something out in the next couple of days and get you back to normal. Just focus on the wrestling and stop stressing so much. Yeah, probably right. I've tried my best to push aside all my worries about being stuck in, in my body. I spent the rest of the evening watching the stupid wrestling match. Uh, people getting me caught up. Uh, I honestly wish I'd cut my hair before I had to shower that night. It took absolutely ever to dry. I ended up going to bed much later than before. This kept up, I definitely have to invest in a hair dryer. Let me just check my phone real quick. Not great, now I have to figure out how to do this stupid thing. Buddy. Oh, so that's that's how it goes, depending on how the the hearts are. Yeah, well, buddies with Brad home. I think Brad's getting a little too buddy-buddy. Fuck you, Brad. I'm going to your house next time. Hey, got a little phone. Huh? Hey! Oh! My egg hatched! I should name my little pet something. I'll just type something and use my keyboard and press enter when I'm done. Does that mean I get to choose it? Oh, I get to, I just type it here, okay. Uh, I don't know. There. Just because I can. Oka for the win. <laughs> so yeah, apparently you get this little, uh, little pet game thing. Don't really understand. I might have to look that up. Uh, possum infestation. The Sport and Rec Center had to shut down today after a family of possums. That's not how you spell possums. Fell through the roof and landed on a group of rollerblades. <laughs> Bladers. Where 400 possums were found living in the rafters and the owners of the center were arrested due to following, failing to meet building codes. Alright, dumbasses. It's pretty late. I don't think it's a good idea to call anyone right now. Oh, okay, so I see how that's gonna work. Ah, the bits of hair in my mouth. It's so fucking gross. There you go, complain, complain, complain. Looks like I shed all over the bed, too. Ew. Seriously, it's the last damn time I tried to sleep with long hair. I don't care if the match is broke back again the next time. I want to sleep comfortably. Not in my bed turning into a shaggy hair ridden mess. Just add bed sheets to the laundry mat, I guess. And where did I put those bloody scissors? Just gotta cut off this back. Ow! That was my ear! That would hurt. Let's try that again. Almost there. Done. Actually, I think I prefer short hair. It's funny, because I normally like longer hair. I did a pretty good job again today. My career as a police officer doesn't pan out. She considered becoming a hairdresser. Got a real knack for this. Then I'd have to get other people to I love you, me. Yeah, no. Uh, be super gross. I'm sticking to it. 
thought I'd uh, already filled up the garbage bin the other day with there, but somehow there was uh, plenty of room left and I just jam all my clippings in there. We'll probably have five or six ba uh, bin bags full of hair by the time the garbage day will around, but I'd worry about that later. Who knows, maybe I would find a way to change back to normal today. Uh, I wish you luck, buddy, but uh, I don't think so. The sooner I can put these days of wearing a skirt behind me, the better. Morning, Brad. Hey, buddy. No babe this time. Sorry, I told me to send you downstairs. Apparently, she's made a good progress on the kitchen. Oh, I wonder what that's about. I doubt if Victoria had figured out a way to change back this quickly, but for all I knew, she might have made a major break through last night. Any progress in this case was better than nothing, so I went downstairs right away. Wanted to visit me, Victoria? Hey, Girl Max, come look at this. What is it? I finally found something related to that weird script on the underside of the gem that transformed you. You mean it's not gibberish? I got this book from the library that deals with ancient languages and dead civilizations. This one in particular doesn't have much information on it. Pages in the back here, it's very gibberish. A few ancient artifacts were found at uh, Dixade on the Pacific Islands, one of which was covered with a giant phoenix like bird. Except in Sapphire, it was about to be lightning. It had electricity in ancient times? Or were thunderstorms, Max? Oh, duh. The first half of the symbols was covered here exactly the same as the ones which we found. Assuming the last set of symbols was bird, it's pretty safe to assume that the word lightning is not just language. Or some fact. Pretty much guessing here. There's not a whole lot of that. Actually, that's pretty interesting. They were spreading bolts of electricity in the gem when I just touched it, but they're really gone now. The script being related to electricity would make sense, especially considering all those scorch marks around my transformations made. So what? Is actually a magic lightning beam artifact in the ancient long dead civilization. No, not at all. What I think is happening with some of the and some were created this gem based off similar information to what I have now. I don't know what they're doing to such a thing, but I think it can be interesting in some incidents of their actions. So we're dealing with the history now, huh? Yeah, I think so. I'm not going to use this textbook as a starting point. I'm going to use this technique so you can see if I can find any more information to back to the strange language. I've still got barely any information to go off right now. But I'm honestly surprised uh, the text isn't just gibberish. It's going to put a lot of time into making this. It's clear they've gone to a lot of effort, but why? Why, are we, why were they just smuggling it through the city with the shit they were All available officers, come to my office right now. It's urgent. I like the sound of that. Bring on the action. I'll catch you later, Victoria. Let me know if you make any more progress. Roger that, girl, Max. Yeah, I raced down the hall to Captain Neckerai's office. It was rare for him to call up stuff like this, so something big must have happened overnight. After all that stupid laughing about yesterday, I was looking forward to getting back. Shave you some shotguns. Okay, everyone, listen up. That guy's still creeping me out, honestly. There's been a series of break-ins at the mall last night. Everything from jewelry stores to legal offices were targeted. Petty cash and small valuables were stolen. Additionally, one of the criminals who was arrested two days ago paid bail. It hasn't shown up for the court. Considering the timing, it's likely that these cases are related. So why are they calling us? Don't we I'm breaking breaking a job for the regular police department, not the special investigations unit. We obtained footage from a nearby from a patrol station showing a brown uh, sedan speeding away from the mall last night. And it's the same car that fled the police uh, fled the police a week ago during the weekend of stop. The driver is hiding something. We highly suspect it may be unique for If you catch the person, then you're one step closer to stopping the flow of the list of drugs in the city. 
and I'll be the one who's one step closer to getting my old body back. Wait, don't malls have security cameras? Can't we just review the footage from last night to figure out what's underneath the truck Sadly, we're out of luck there. Someone cut the power to the mall last night, so no security footage was recorded. We were lucky that patrol station was able to record the suspect's car even seen, but that's the only thing we have to go on. I take it the driver is using fake license plates so we can't track their address. Yep, the license plates that they're using bring up a red station wagon and not data. But the vehicle used in the crime looks clearly like down to that. Shutting down the power to the mall isn't exactly straightforward. A few boxes located in the off-limits area of the mall, so that only staff have access to And its location isn't exactly common knowledge. So that, I'm pretty sure this is an inside job. I want you to head to the mall to see it. All the employees figure out which of them, which one was the call for it and then bring them in. Nice and simple. And then we can interrogate them and force them to reveal why I was turned into a girl. I have the disco ball already. I still want to still sort of do in store, don't want to know what that is. Holly and Amber, I need the two of you to track down Jay Waldo. He's a low-level drug dealer. He didn't show up to his court hearing today. And you've got a feeling he might be moving up with the gold of I know Jay is nothing down. Don't let him run away. I don't want the uh, repeat of what happened last time. This time I've got a taste of it. You won't get done. Alright, everyone. Got our new assignments. Now move out. Got it. I had no intention of staying as a girl any longer. So I was happy to take any lead I could get. I'd catch this drug dealer, force him to tell me what he knew, and he'd change himself back to normal. There's no way in hell I was gonna spend another day on the job running around in this sports bra. I hated how I felt about girly around everyone. The sooner I got back to normal, the better. Oh wow, you can really take a number off this place. I'm not sure you step, I'm still broken, broken brown ass everywhere. Because I'm wearing platform shoes right now. Why are you wearing platform shoes anyway? You know they're not part of the women's room phone code, right? What? That's not what Holly said. She said every female officer on the field has to wear heels. Did you believe her? Maybe. It can be really naive sometimes, buddy. Fuck off. Goddamn Brad. The mall was an absolute mess, and it immediately made me suspicious. Robbing a store was one thing, and it looked like a few things made me sense. This was just a simple fact. No, this wasn't just a simple fact. The windows had been smashed, and the stock had been thrown all over the place. Whoever had done all this wasn't trying to pocket the cash. They were doing this for a reason. Now, yeah, this was definitely an inside job. Even bugs just doesn't feel right. You got that right. So who are our suspects? Previous officers narrowed it down to four employees who were working their last night. They obtained their name and occupation but soon the minx one was discovered they called us in. I reckon someone is getting minx from the mall and they're trying to cover their tracks with this stuff with the sun. Didn't surprise me at all. This minx dealer might be the same jerk who put that booby truck gem into the shipment. He sees at the bus stop and if it is them the they're truly going to regret the day they mess with you. I'm taking points on, on this one, Brad. It's personal. Sure. It's been a while since you've done one of these on your own, and it's been a bit of a tough one. Like I said, this is personal. I've got this. Just make sure you remember the basics. You need to interview every person here on here to find out what they're what they were doing during the time of the break and look for any hole in their story. In order to convict your suspect, suspected drug dealer, we'll need to have evidence that proves they were at the scene of crime. Do that for a Dealing with anything is one thing, but people don't have to go vandalizing uh, front stores unless they've got some agenda. Send up some sort. Somewhere it's, it's hiding something. God, I'm having a mouth I'll find out what it is. There'll be no more heels for me after today, that's for sure. 
just make sure you're thorough. Question every person about everything. No stone to Stop worrying so much, Brian. You know what I'm doing. I was here to help you me. Yeah, fill me up the way you can hit now. Let's start with this laundry store up here. Time for me to get to the bottom of it. There is pink in here. These are some of the brilliant brawls I've ever seen. I thought my spirits were all was bad. What the hell? Never catch me wearing anything like this stuff sold here, that's for sure. I shouldn't have said that. I'm jinxing myself. Yes, you have. Bloody hell. He's wearing dealing lingerie by the end of the week now. Oh, hey there. My name is Officer Max Newing. I'm with the police. Are you an employee here? Maybe. Uh... Said, are you working here? Are you an employee of the store? Yes. Alright, and what would your name be? Um, uh... I don't know. <laughs> Having trouble remembering your name? Sorry, I'm just a little nervous, that's all. Apparently. There's nothing to be nervous of. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions about what happened last night, that's all. I'm not in any trouble. Oh, good. So, what is your name? Sarah. Sarah Weingarten. Let's go. Got any identification on you, Sarah? Uh, not yet. What do you mean, not yet? I... I don't think... Is there a reason why you might want to hide your identity from the police? We'll find out sooner or later. It's much easier for you if you're just honest. No, it's not that! Um... The other day, my roommate pranked me with transformation gas and turned me into a girl. I don't have enough money to... to uh, buy a reverse here. Oh, snap! So, in the same boat. Oh, so you had your gender... your gender flip against your will? It, yeah. I had the same thing happen to me the other day. Really? There's a bit of a different scenario to yours, but I can understand why you feel flustered right now. I'll take that into consideration. Thanks. Of course, if it turns out you're lying to me, I'm going to be very angry. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? No, no, of course not. Good. A guy who's been recently transformed into a girl, you've got a very specific uh, fashion choice. Where'd you get clothes like that? The, um, the girl at the clothing store picked them up for me. She's really nice. Why did you get a job here, of all places? My sister knows the manager. She, she said I could work here for a few days or so, until I could save up enough money to turn back to normal. You don't mind if I ask you a few more questions, do you, Sarah? No, that's fine. Perfect. I'm gonna actually get to some investigative work. Hold up, what's this? Is this a piece of yellow leather? Leather? Looks like it's from a shirt. Charlie's sort of thing to find this a swimsuit or laundry set. I've got a feeling the shop owner might have been wearing this one in the wrong place. He made a mistake. Judging by their attempt at getting it the register, they were clearly a rookie at breaking the hangar. Make a note of this. Might have asked you a few questions. That's no problem. Walk me through what happened when you came into work this morning. Um, well, I, uh, I walked into the store and um, there was broken glass. Something was knocked over. 
job like of a manager. So she called the police. Jakey Tier, the one who called us to the scene this morning. No, I was going to, but but Natara came around. She, she works for the mall as well. She um she looked around a bit and she told me she'd already called me. Did anyone else come to your store before the police arrived? No. Thanks for the info. Did you notice anything strange when you left to work last night? Um, you say um a lot, don't you? I don't think so. You know, honestly, that reminds me of our Prime Minister Trudeau. He says, uh, at the end of every goddamn sentence. Or before. What time did you leave? Um, there she goes again! I... I don't remember what time it was. You don't know what the precise time was? No! Uh, it's really dark though. It's freaking me out a little. The game store lights were working out. Did you see anyone other than... Other... Did you see anyone other... Oh, there's a... Uh, dramatic error. Anyone other than mall boys from that. Actually, I did see it. All right, just go ahead and I didn't catch up for the lyrics. Interesting. It's really annoying too because I couldn't remember the security card when I went to the door. I was stuck there for 15 minutes. I had to call my manager and everything. She was very hard to reach. It was so embarrassing. It was my first day closing up by myself. I messed up. Can I go have a look at your phone? Sure. I'll get Brad to look at this over the floor. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be my hands. Got a second max. Yeah, what's up? Pretty lucky your evidence. Just wanted to let you know that I've done some own and covered some important information. Oh? I had a look at the security footage from last night, and even though power to the cameras was shut off, some of the security systems were still up and running. Most notably, the store motion sensors were active. It's not super helpful with our video footage, but we do know the order of the few visitors to the stores. We brought fruit there first, then charred games, then laundry store, and one in the deep before they uh, made their escape. They broke into the food court first, and closed the store last. In fact, I'm not sure how useful you should like it is, but it might be a good for you. Food court first, closing store last. Got it. Alright, let's have a look at your notes. Ah, so this, this will be what helps me figure shit out, huh? Focus on hogging that food and coming at stone stock. 
got a report in here that says your name is Cesare uh, Broly, uh, age 33, is that correct? Yep, that's me. How old is Pegger 33, though? New on this electronic stuff. Yep, that's why it's got my name on the sign and a phone number with my fiance. And how much do you gain for a portable product and cost at the store, of yours? Four hundred dollars, and they also come with two free games. Do you offer any sort of discount? No, you don't do this thing. Okay, that's just out of my place. Are you sure you don't give discounts? He's <laughs> pressing hard. No discounts. Oh. Always got to start with. When you arrived at the mall today, what was the first thing you did? The first thing you did? I freaked out and cried a lot. I put my life into the store and to see like this was just heartbreak. Hours ago, absolutely wasted. Sorry I had to go through this. It's not fair to anyone. The tower came over and calmed me down a bit later and the police arrived to me at half that. I felt better once I'd spoken to someone, but I'm still pretty upset about the whole thing. Some of the stuff isn't even replaceable. It just won't be the same. We'll catch you a little responsible. Don't worry. What time did you close the shop last night? Normally I've been staying back late. I often get big displays set to me by video game companies and they take way too long to set up to, to do them during work hours. I'm often the last one to leave. However, my partner Lexi and I had an appointment we had to go to, so I closed up shop early. I even set a reminder on my phone so I wouldn't forget. So what time did you leave? Let me just check my phone. Here we go. Set the alarm for 9.50 p.m. That's pretty early for me considering I'm going to leave at 11 or so. Can I see your phone for a second? Sure. Yep, there's an alarm set. When we left, was there anyone else working in the mall? I didn't really look around too much, but I did see Natara on the car I was there first, so she must have left this afternoon. I've got an inkling that Natara is probably the suspect, because she keeps popping up. Got it.
This guy is more than just a freak It's a gourmet sensation that feeds your soul with Okay, okay, I got it. You were working here last night prior to the break, that's correct. You're correct, that's one right here. Oh god, this guy makes me cringe. You seriously don't want this guy in the face. Yeah, I, I'm kinda with you there. Gee, what exactly was taken from your store? Have you taken inventory yet? Yeah, man. Hundreds of dollars were taken from my pocket. I was meant to put them in my top of the line coffee machine. Thankfully, I have a spare, but it will still cost me more than a bit of coin. My parents won't be able to judge your level, that's for sure. Aha. Uh -huh. There's some broken glass on the ground here, but it's very good to tell there aren't any glass objects around here. That's where you can have the space. Where did it come from? The road that robbed the place must have broken some glass that was moving in the store. Don't you search smoothies and smoothies and paper cups, though? There's a lot of broken glass on it. Must have got some stuck on the shoes when you walked in. This glass is a light green. Tells me that might be important. Let me through what happened last night. I, I baked myself enough to buy and smoke the sand. Of course I'm about right. Me and I never really left to work. Oh. Like any night you take some TV seriously, I fuck it up the workstation at 10pm on the dock, just like I always do. See anyone else around here when you left? No, I was the last one to leave. The other vendors here are a bit lazy. You have to leave here early. It's a shame, but honestly. Did you lock the door when you left? Well, and the door locks automatically when you close so yes. You didn't see anything suspicious when you left. At all. If I didn't observe anything out of the ordinary, it would have been from the officers who came earlier out of the Got it. So when you came in to work this morning, what was the first thing you did? Why well, I, I assessed the damage to my place of uh, work, of course. I had to find out what those vagabonds were. Did you call the police? No. The copper showed up a few minutes after I arrived at work. One of the other vendors was just coming into the team. So you didn't speak to anyone else. You were at the stall the whole time. You're correct, you Thanks for the information. He's serious, like, I'm gonna kill this guy. How much 
stock was stolen from your store, Zara. A couple of consoles are missing, but these weren't able to get into the cabinet where I keep all those game discs. I probably lost a thousand dollars from the file. Do you have an insurance? Yeah, but it's going to be a nightmare to go through all that paperwork. All my displays have been kicked with crushed, big grins and snap in half, kids have been slashed. It's going to be take ages to replace everything. I knew that there was more crime in the city, but I wasn't expecting this to be this bad. It doesn't happen often. We are going to find out uh, who is responsible for this. I know this is dramatic, but I'll try to keep it together. Yeah, I know. Stupid jerks. I'm just trying to sell video games. Don't worry, I'll get this sorted. It doesn't look like anything can hurt. Yeah, you already said that. He's still all upset. So the last place. I'm going to that one. Too many places. Yeah, I love this game. Huh? There are signs of clear signs of damage on them. This boy looks pretty much untouched. I mean, I can do this, but there's no broken windows. Very interesting. Excuse me, are you working here? Oh, these are back. Here we are. My name is Officer Maximilian, Special Investigation Support. I need to ask you some questions. Special Investigation Department? I already spoke to an officer this morning, so I don't think there's any of you I can play about the day case. Sorry. So, I'd like to speak to you with people. Not a problem, is it? No, not at all. As long as you'd like. Excellent. Just got to say that you look absolutely amazing at people in script, you didn't realize that this was a swept state of fashion. Trust me, I'm not wearing it by choice. This fashion isn't one of my strengths. Well, you could have fooled me. You look absolutely gorgeous. Green is definitely, definitely your color, Max. If you're looking for something to complement your wardrobe, you've got, got a magnificent blouse and skirt uh, combo and stuff, and you look absolutely amazing. I think you saw it. Trust me on this one. You will absolutely love it. I'm here on official police investigation. I'm not here to listen to fashion books. Definitely not here to shop. Oh, well, that's a shame. Let's get back on track here. I take it you're in a tarred fortune. At least the French, but I'm in charge of day-to-day -day store operations. Essentially, it's the future. When I own this place, in the industry, the first thing I do is change names so that I actually make sense in French. Appropriate type of pronouns. Were you working here yesterday afternoon? Correct. I open the door at 8 in the morning and wake up at 7 at night. So it's here all day. All the long work days were still broken. I don't mind it. It's pretty much my dream job after all. Something flies by when your daily speech keeps taking losses and struggles with getting a brand new assembly. It really feels like you're making a difference in your lives. Aha. Uh -huh. What's this expression, please? Are you sure you don't want me to show you that love? I'm sure. What do you need for me, guys? Don't worry, I don't want to take up too much time. Is anything stolen from your store during break-ins? Not really. Um, not really that much, actually. We didn't touch the boat in the register and no boat was taken. Last display case in the back of the chair was smashed. Some accessories were taken, but that was it. that be that green case against the bow wall? Long. Watch the jewelry or take it. Looks like somebody kicked this brick glass. We're clearly in a hurry. It's pretty small. Very interesting. Did you notice anything that you left the brick last night? 
my memory is shit here. Gamer chick, douchebag. figure this out uh, next time. I've been going for quite a while. And yeah, we'll see what happens at the end of this investigation. Look at a bit of a cliffhanger here. I think I've got my little inklings. I originally thought it was Katara, but I think it's somebody else. I can't say for sure. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll find out if I'm right or not next time. So uh, look forward to the next episode. Hopefully I won't be uh, as long in uploading it this time. But, uh, yeah. Until then, keep enjoying anime and anime for life. <laughs>